In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add an eye-catching flash photo gallery to your website. I'm working with a yoga and fitness centre website that I've used throughout these video tutorials and I've already created a new page for my photo gallery and I've also added a quick shape on which to place my gallery. To insert my gallery, I expand the picture flyout and click Insert Photo Gallery. The Photo Gallery dialog offers three different gallery types and as you click on each one, its features are described. I'll choose the Professional Flash Photo Gallery option. I can choose to add individual photos to my gallery, or I can add a folder of photos, or I can add photos from a Twain source, such as a scanner or a digital camera. You'll find information on this option in the online help. The photos I want to use are all contained in a folder, so I'll choose the Add Folder option. Now I just browse to and select my folder and click OK. All my photos are now displayed as thumbnails in the dialog. The slider in the lower left corner lets me zoom in for a better view. When my site is published, the gallery will display my photos in the order in which they are listed here. Suppose I want this photo here to display first. I need to move it to the top of the list and there are two ways to do this. I select the photo and then I can either click the Move Up button until the photo is in the correct position or I can click Move to Position and type the position number I want, in this case 1. Both of these methods work for multiple photos too. If you need to rotate a photo, just select it and click this button. OK, now let's add some captions to our photos. I want to add the same prefix to all of my photo captions. To do this, I click here to select all my images and then type my caption into the text box at the bottom of the caption column. To add an individual caption, I just type directly into the adjacent text box. You can adjust the brightness and contrast of a photo by selecting it and then typing a value into the brightness and contrast columns. Values between negative 100 and 100 are accepted. You can apply the same adjustments to multiple photos by selecting their checkboxes and typing into the box at the bottom of the adjustment column. One feature that's only available in professional flash photo galleries is the ability to organise your photos into albums. Click the Edit Albums button, select Enable Albums within the gallery, and then I'll change the number of albums to two. Type names for my albums and click OK. Now to organise my photos into the appropriate albums, I just select them and then choose an album from the drop-down list. OK, I've organised and adjusted my photos and added my captions, so now I click Next. And this is where I get to choose the style of my photo gallery. As I click through the templates in the gallery style pane, notice that the preview pane shows me how my gallery will appear on my web page. I like the look of this one here. Now I can adjust the settings on the right to change the look and feel of my gallery. For example, I can change the colours of the gallery elements to fit with the colour scheme of my site. OK, I'm happy with my photo gallery style and settings, so I'll click Finish. Clicking once on my page inserts the photo gallery at default size, and I can resize it and move it into position, just as I would any other object. Once you've inserted your photo gallery, it's easy to add and delete photos switch to a different gallery style and adjust settings. Just double click the gallery to open the photo gallery dialog again. Let's now preview this page in a web browser.
you now know how to create a stylish, professional-looking photo gallery to display treasured memories or showcase those artistic shots you're particularly proud of.